Welcome to my new advanced training, Master English Conversation. Okay, let's begin. Practicing versus performing. Here's a common mistake. Pavla comes to her English lesson and talks about the latest episode of Game of Thrones. Time flies by, she enjoys herself, and she gets lots of speaking practice. But then she returns to her office and gets a call from a colleague in London. Now she thinks about her words and carefully chooses each one. As a result, she's nervous, her speech is slow and unnatural, and she misses some important information her colleague said because she was thinking about her next sentence instead of listening. Do you see Pavla's mistake? Pavla was practicing unconsciously and performing consciously. Instead, when she's with her teacher, this is the time to focus on her speech, to try new words, to repeat a lot, and to experiment and make mistakes. Then, when she needs English in the real world, that's the time to perform. Forget about rules, relax, and just focus 100% on the other person and the message. Many times, I've tried to have a conversation with someone who was obviously over-focused on the grammar and being perfect. The result was slow and unnatural speaking to the point where sometimes they even sounded like a robot because they talked like this. Not good. Also, when you focus on being perfect, that makes you nervous. And when you're nervous, the other person can feel it and maybe even see it or hear it. And when you're uncomfortable, he's uncomfortable. And that's also not good. Okay. In summary, during a performance, a performance is when you're speaking in the real world to colleagues, to friends, um, at any prof professional function, not with your teacher. So during a performance, do not focus on yourself, your mistakes, or the grammar. Also, do not ask the other person to correct you. This will make him feel like you're trying to get a free English lesson. And nobody wants that. Okay, do enjoy the conversation. Think about the message and focus on the other person.